Hi besties, it's your girl Catherine and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So I have another long awaited project use it up update. We have one more update until the finale and I'm not too sure if I should make a finale video of it just because just a little sneak peek. I'm almost done with all those products and I'm going to have a little screenshot right here of the original items that I had in this project because there was over 50 products in here. Yep. I added two more hand soaps into the project and it's like a papaya paradise and then also Fiji white sands. There's two of them going on right now. But before I get started, if you're new here to Project Use It Up, hi, my name is Catherine and I go through a lot of body care. With this project almost ending, there's just so many things that are just like nearly gone and I'm really excited to show you guys. So enough chit chat, let's go ahead and get started right now. So I'm going to start with body washes. Now this is one of the items that actually takes me a long time to finish up, which is actually a really surprising thing because a body wash has two more ounces more than like their body lotion. You guys can see right here side by side, they almost look the same. I don't know why, it takes me forever to get through body washes. Maybe I'm just not going through it all more. When I think I'm like using too much, it's not like enough, I don't know. Let me know down below if you guys go through body wash very easily and it's easy for you guys because I need some tips. Please hand me some tips down there. But the first one we have is Papaya Paradise Cove. This is a micellar body wash. And the packaging is really pretty. I love the color of the blue. This has fresh papaya, start fruit water, honeysuckle, passionflower, and amber. This is such a very nice refreshing scent. And you guys can see, oh, the lines kind of died right here, but it went from here to right over here. I think I have three more uses. I'm gonna try to make it two, but this is actually a lot of product left. To, just in my opinion, because I've been like trying to put a lot more down, so. I'm really happy with the progress. She is going to be done in the next two weeks before the finale. So this is a really good one if you can ever get this at SAS. I'm not too sure if they're going to bring this back during SAS because I've seen so many new collections coming out, like returns and things like that. So it's gonna be really fun this summer, you guys. I'm so excited. Also, June is my birth month. Yep, my birthday is at the end of the month. So I'm going to be going through shopping sprees upon shopping sprees. Next up, let's talk about Ice Pear Margarita. I felt like I should have put this in like a summer project use it up just because this gives me strong summer vibes. It's really nice. I feel like I'm getting ready to go to the beach when I wear this scent. This has fresh pear, Baja Lemon, Lemon with the I, yes. Mango flower, Mayan sugarcane, and Mexican sandalwood. So you guys can see from here to here, it's like the same amount as Papaya Paradise Cove. No joke, that looks almost the same. Can you guys see that? That's crazy. That's funny, but I like the scent. It's really nice. It's really refreshing. Um, I am getting a little bit sick of it, which I'm actually really happy that I didn't buy like the lotion or the spray in it because I felt like I would have been overwhelmed if I got the entire body care collection when I bought this during SAS. But a couple more uses and you are good to go. Oh, I did forget to mention, I did go a week without using these products, so they look like they haven't really been touched as much, just in my opinion, because I did go a week without using these products because I was getting kind of tired of using them, and someone in the comments in my last one was like, don't be a slave to your products. I'm like, yes, bestie, I completely agree. So if you ever need like a break just from your Project Use It Up products, like no one's perfect. You just need to take the time and use other products in your collection because here's the thing. The last thing you want to do is to get burnt out and even though like these products are here to die because you know they're use it up products you still want to enjoy using them while you can because they're going to be gone in your collection so that's why with the next couple of products you can kind of see that i didn't go through a lot of these products because of my one week of not using these products next up is my last body wash this is the blueberry moisturizing body wash I think I have two more uses out of this if I like really try my best to use a lot more. I'm not sure if I should cut these up. What do you guys think down in the comments below? I always tell you guys to cut up your body creams because we want to get every inch and every speck of product that we can. Let me know down below if you guys cut up your moisturizing body washes. I feel like I'm not going to. But if you guys convince me, I probably will, okay? Because these products are kind of liquidy already so it's going to be hard to do it. Because you know how the body cream's like thick and if you know this product in here... We'll see, we'll see. But this is a really good scent. I'm actually really sad that blueberry is gonna be gone. Let me know down below if you guys have tried the blueberry lotion in the wellness collection. I heard they're the same thing. I actually need to watch a couple of videos because a lot of people say that they are. 
but those are like rumors because I haven't really been paying attention too much, but I'll do my research. It's a beautiful scent. I really wish I had a backup of this scent, honestly, because of how true to the blueberry scent it is. It's so refreshing. It's amazing. If you ever get your hands on blueberry during a sale or on Mercari and you love blueberry scents, this is definitely worth it. Okay, next up we have hand creams. I've actually been not doing a great job at using my hand creams for the purpose of using them for my hands. I don't know why that is, but maybe because it's summer, I feel like my hands aren't as dry as they are in the winter time. I don't know. So I've been like delaying my usage for hand creams, but I've actually been starting to use them for my body. And I know a lot of you guys in the last video told me, yeah, I use them for my body too. So don't worry about it. And so I still have a little bit, I think a quarter left of the hyaluronic acid hydrating hand cream. This is in cactus water. The scent is decent, not my favorite, but I am almost done with it. I know I can just get like a whole like thing of it and put it on my arm. I'm also going to cut these up too. One of you guys have actually said in the comments that you feel like the hand lotion formula is like the body lotion but in like this tube and I feel like the formula for the body lotions are a little bit different than the hand lotions so I would say like the hand lotions are in between of like a body lotion and a body cream. Does anyone else get my drift? I feel like that's just something a little bit extra that they put in here. Let me know down below if you guys think the same way. But I have this one and I also have Boardwalk Taffy. And I'm going to try to use this for my hands. I've not been doing that, like I said. But I also might just use it for my body like I mentioned it before. This one's a really good scent. And you guys keep on tagging me on Instagram that it's coming out again for SAS. So, so if you've wanted to try Boardwalk Taffy and you never had the chance to because you just gone to Bath & Body Works like I have, they're going to bring it out for SAS. I'm so excited. I'm going to get like two minutes a body cream because I love body cream formulas I just don't need any more body creams because I'm trying to use them up because I don't want them to expire but I'll give an exception to boardwalk taffy and I'll get like lotions and shower gels that's gonna be a really fun scent because this one is just like a nice taffy candy like smell and not like a tart sour candy it literally smells like Laffy Taffy, but like a vanilla Laffy Taffy. This stuff smells amazing. Okay, next up we have minis. I only have two minis left, which is good. I think it's the same from last time. This is A Thousand Wishes. Look at her. And not, not a lot of progress. From here to here, eh, not too bad. I've actually been using this a lot recently, and I don't know what it is, because your girl is the queen of spraying and using up products, but... This stuff is very strong and it's very potent. I actually brought this back when I was in my hometown. It's so refreshing, like it lasts so long and I just understand why A Thousand Wishes is so popular and like their most sold scent. Mmm, it's amazing. So if you love like amaretto and like a little floral but like a little bit of like a punch, kind of like Champagne Toast but not Champagne Toast. It just has a little bit more depth than Champagne Toast. You're going to like the scent. I love the scent so I think I can try to pursue myself to use it up. Like I said, I went a week without using my product, so it's just like a little tiny dent, okay? Next up is Champagne Toast. This one's the older version of Champagne Toast. This one has more of like a citrusy note, which I'm actually not a big fan of. Yeah, it's a very orangey citrus scent. Orange fragrances aren't like my favorite of all things, but as you guys can see from here, I made a dent. Yep, I've been trying really hard to use this one up just because I'm over the old version of Champagne Toast. I just want to be done with it. And I'm getting kind of sick of using Champagne Toast too because I did go through like a body lotion. I don't remember when I used Champagne Toast in the body lotion, but I did finish one. And I was getting so sick of using it because I don't know, you know how sometimes you just get tired and you get burnt out of using products? This is how I feel with Champagne Toast. So even though it's a really beautiful scent and it's like one of my favorite scents, I just need a break from her, okay? Period. Next up are body lotions and I actually have one body lotion left and this is Sparkling Peach Sangria. You guys see that? I had to flip it. You have to flip them because if not, they will get stuck right here and then you can't take it out. Nope. And I actually bought one of these little silicone applicator things so like when I open my body creams I can like scoop it out but with this one you can't really do that because it's kind of short I actually got this at Dollar Tree so if you have been looking for a really inexpensive silicone thing you can also use this for your face too this is actually the original intention of this thing I just like to scoop it out I'm scooping it out I did use like a popsicle stick beforehand but this is a game changer okay this is one of my project use it up tools so good sparkling peach sangria I'm so I don't like it. Uh, the more I use it, the more I just, I'm just not, 
into it and there's Nobo right there. Hey Nobo. It's just a subtle peach scent and I sometimes wish that brands will make a strong sugary sweet peach scent. Like this is just like the LaCroix version of a peach scent that they would make to drink without the sugar. And I just want something more extra. I want a bigger oomph, okay? So I'm actually really excited to finish this up. She's dead to me, okay? She's dead to me. Oh, I also do want to say, and it's been actually bothering me because I went back to my hometown to visit my, you know, family and things like that. You know, you gotta do stuff. When you go back to your hometown, you gotta do like errands and things like that. Go to like the dentist, you know, pay off your stuff. And I brought all of my Project Use It Up products but I think I forgot to bring back my Raspberry Tangerine Lotion right here. Yeah, that was from the last update. I remember using it though. I used it twice and I have like the tiniest bit left. But when I came back, I have no idea where I put it. So I think it's back in my mom's house. So the next time I go there, hopefully I can find it. But if not, she is long gone. So I'm going to count that as a finished up product because I'm going to be honest with you guys, I did not want to finish up Raspberry Tangerine Lotion just because it smells so good, okay? If you love fruity scents, Raspberry Tangerine is top tier. One of the best fruity scents in my opinion. It's sugary, it's sweet, it's so refreshing. Um, but I don't know where I put it. So, yeah. Am I going to count that off as a product that I didn't finish? Mm, no, I'm going to give myself some slack just because I lost the product. So, But I was really close. I had like the tiniest bit left though. I wish I had a picture to prove it to you guys. You probably think I'm lying. But I don't know where it is. If I find it, I'll probably talk about it in a vlog or something. But there's the missing lotion. Alright, next up is my last body cream in this project use it up it's crazy i feel like i'm going too fast and too hard for this project use it up so i'm actually really glad that i did take a week off break from it this is pretty as a peach body lotion like i said i just wish they made a better stronger peach this gives me the same vibes as the sparkling peach sangria she didn't give me enough strength and i just want an extra oomph it's nice, it's subtle, but I want it stronger, okay? This one has more of like a floral note into it, which I wish didn't. I want like a iconic true peach scent, okay you guys? So the day that someone makes a true peach scent that doesn't smell like bodily fluids, hit me up please, please hit me up. So if you're new here to the channel, hi, my name is Catherine. I cut up my body creams up because that's how we do it. And we gotta use up our product. I would say this gives me like two more uses, Yep, she's thick. That's why you cut them up. This is actually freshly cut up. I was gonna use this today, but I was trying to use up another lotion, which I actually finished up, which you guys will see in like the Bath and Body Works Empties video. That'll be fun. But yeah, this is how much. I did my best to squeeze it up too. I was like, nope, I'm gonna show them the true thing. So every time I do an update, I always tell you guys about it because there's some new people that come more along. I'm actually really happy that I'm almost done with it. And I'm also glad that I was able to use this up before it turned because I feel like if I were to smell pretty as a peach turned, and when I mean turned, I mean like spoiled, not good, it wouldn't be good at all. Next up we have the Fine Fragrance Mist, the full size versions. And I'm going to talk about the Victoria's Secret ones. And I got two left! My goal for the Victoria's Secret Mist were to just at least get half of them done. But let me show you the progress, okay? This is Victoria's Secret Spare Vanilla La Creme. I love this one so much. It gives me a different fragrance, especially because most of these are very fruity. And I just want something that's just plain, comforting vanilla. This is the one right here, okay? It's very nice. It has decadent vanilla orchid and spun sugar. So let me just show you guys the progress lines. Like I said, that one week, I didn't go through a lot. And I have like this much left. And I think I can use it because I'm actually on the search for the best vanilla body care hygiene products because you guys keep requesting it and I've been putting it off because there are just way too many vanilla scents and I just got to go through a week of just using vanilla products so I can tell you guys the best vanilla products in my opinion. But yeah, I'm really happy because I'm almost done with this. And I didn't expect to have like this much usage out of it because in a three month timeline, you're like, whoa, can I really get this done? You can, boo, you can. Next up is Love Spell La Creme. This one has actually been getting a little bit stronger for me, almost a tiny bit headache inducing. I don't mind it, but I've been trying to like tone it down on using it. As you guys can see here, the really awkward lines from here to here, not much usage just because I'm trying to lay low. I will say that the Bare Vanilla La Creme has more, or are they the same? They might be the same, but I'm really proud of myself because all this in the last like two and a half months, bro, that's crazy. This is crazy. So yeah, I like this one a lot more than the original Love Spell. It has a tiny bit of a creamy note. 
like almost like yogurt but not like expired yogurt next up i have my raspberry tangerine a fine fragrance mist this one's from last year the packaging is so beautiful i'm actually really sad to see this one go this is the progress lines so it actually it looks a little bit different because i actually used it today that's what i'm wearing today let me know down below what you guys are wearing so i gotta fix that line i do and you guys can see uh, there's a lot more progress because I did tell you guys I did use the raspberry tangerine lotion Okay, and I don't know where it is now. So she was partnering up with the fragrance mist The mist is just so amazing if you love your sweet fruity scents highly recommend Getting raspberry tangerine. I know it's in a different packaging right now, but it's so worth it It's so beautiful and I definitely think if you love fruity scents, you're going to love this one so good and lastly we got one more product this is my beloved agave papaya sunset look at this she's almost done like just the tiniest bit left i think i can get this done in like three more tries so here are the progress lines from here right to here beautiful work Catherine. beautiful work and i've actually been using the body lotion to pair it with and this is actually a little sneak peek for my summer project use it up i'm so excited you guys i'm doing a three month thing again and sas is coming up so i gotta do i do need to clear up some room for more products i really like the lotion it pairs really well with the mist but i do like the mist more the mist is a lot more sweeter highly recommend if you want like a year-round scent this is it all right you guys so that was basically it for my entire project use it up update but let me know down below what you guys are currently using up right now i'm curious on how your progress is for your body creams your body lotions your fine fragrances anything it doesn't even have to be bath and body works or victoria's secret it could be any product that you are trying to use up and especially because sas is around the corner so we gotta make a little bit more space all right thank you guys so much for watching my project use it up update and i will talk to you guys later bye